Hi there, so I have purple hair with my oil down hair. I'm going to show you how to make your lips look fuller for the women without teeth. Now, I still got my bottom ones. What it is, you see most people do this. If I close my lips together, this is what you're going to see. So how do I keep this? The trick is the tongue. Not closing your mouth totally. So, and I'm going to show you another thing for later for the ladies. What I do is I simply place my tongue gently between the gum area up against the lip area. So, you do want to rest comfortably, comfortably, and then that way your tongue mouth don't totally close. Then you don't get that. You don't get the the great apple doll look. You don't get this. Oh, how you doing? You don't get that. You keep you reduce the chances of wrinkles. It keeps you from looking three times older. So simply just place your tongue gently between your gums, up against your lip. I do my top lip because these still have some teeth, but even so, just place it gently. You would not even know that my tongue is resting gently against my top lip. So it keeps me from closing my mouth and it keeps me from doing that. Now, for the ladies, is the trick is the lipstick. The lipstick and saying, so what I'm doing here, I'm, on, I'm using the eyeliner as a marker here. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. I need to get some lip liner. And another thing, you want, you don't want cheap, cheap lipstick. You want something that's going to last eight hours. This here is the brand I like. Is the Superstay Matte Ink from uh, Maybelline. Now, that's what I use. But you might like something totally different. But you want something that's going to last a while. Now, I have one side that grouts more than other. It's just what it is. So what you want to do here now, I'm going to use my mirror here. You want to enhance your lips. So that means you want to go up above your lip a little bit. You're going to create your lines. And you see the difference right there? See the difference here? I want to do one half of my lip and leave the other half the way it is. And then you want to create a point. You see right here the point that I've created? And you want to go all the way down into the corner. Now, right here, your bottom lip, same principle. You want to stand it out a little bit. If you want to go a little bit farther outside the line, you can. You want to make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to make it a little darker just to show you. Now, again, you want to go up here. You go a little bit above the lip. You want to accent the groove right here. Your lip has this little curve in here. So you want to accent it. Okay, now look. You can see the difference. Already. See how much fuller the left side looks compared to the right side. So, then you want to take your lip liner. Again, you want to accent it. You want to start with the line. Look here. See the difference right here? There is the difference right there. Then you want to go down here. Start with a line. Over, over, 
your lip liner or your eyeliner, whichever you're using. You want to go over it, but again, you want the good stuff. You don't want the cheap stuff. You want stuff that's going to last for eight hours. Again, look here. Yes, I went outside my lip area a little bit. That's okay. It gives it more of a fuller look. There you go. There you go right there. Now look. Look at the difference. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my whole lip because I ain't going to walk around with a half lip. So again, what you want to do here is this. You want to make an indention. I go a little above my lip. This one here sags a little bit. Okay, let me look here. So I have went just a little above my lip here. Because it is lower than the other one. And then go and you go all the way down to it. And remember, even if you make this a little bit thicker. Once you put the other lipstick on top of it, it's going to cover it up. You'll still have that overall highlight. Went a little bit uh, over my lip there. That's okay. It's okay if you make it a little bit thicker because all I'm doing is trying to enhance it and mark it in. Again, you see here, look at look at how much of a difference. There's that one is completed. This one is in the process. Look how much of a difference right there. And then you just simply go in. And fill it in. Now, a lot of times, I don't, sometimes I just put my lipstick back on where maybe I've sweated it off and I'll see the odd line to it or something other, but I try to at least the first part of the day, if I'm going somewhere special. I want to make my lips look fuller. So here I go. You can see the difference. No teeth. I have the bottom ones, but this is really strictly with no teeth. Again, remember what I told you. Do not close your mouth totally. Rest your tongue between your gums at a comfortable stage. Allow your tongue to add pressure onto your lips. Not over push them, just some over comfortable pressure. And then Enhanced your lips and you look 10 times better. Yeah, you still got this. You still got out of this gun. But you know what? You don't have this. You don't have that. What you have is a full set of lips that looks nice. You turn around and simply do not close your mouth totally. Place your tongue between your gums. Rest your tongue comfortably on your tongue and allow yourself to keep the full lips, reduce the wrinkles, reduce the making you look 20 years older and using lipstick, ladies, for your benefit to help enhance your appearance. So this is Life Prepper here saying be safe, be happy. Bless y'all. Maybe this will help some. I say I'm hoping to get my dentures. 
I have one wonderful person donated some money towards my dentures. Yes, dentures are not cheap, of course, but uh, God willing and blessed, and I work hard. So hopefully, I'll get some dentures soon. Again, like I say you can use things to enhance your cheeks and stuff like that. I work a lot, so the lipstick is usually about the bases I go for. If you're considering your eyebrows, I have mine um, done. So that way I don't really have to worry about marking them so much. It gives me that nice overall appearance. So you want to make yourself not look 30 years older. You just because you had your teeth pulled out don't mean you got to go around and look like a grout apple dust. It means you can make things work for you, for you ladies. Make yourself look as good as possible within your limits. Everybody's different. So I'm out of here. Bye. I hope this tutoring helped you.